Hi, Phil Bedford here from the Rebel Network. Uh, and uh, today I'm honoured to be here with uh, Brian Tracy, probably one of the figures of this century in terms of business knowledge and sales. Uh, and Brian, I've, I've just been listening to one of your, uh, uh, your events here in Dubai that's been organised by Right Selection. And uh, you said something that was very pertinent, I felt. And it was about people wanting to be and stay at the top of their game. Yes. Having to continually be training. Yes. And I thought that was very, very pertinent, not just to business, but to networking as a profession. Have you got anything you could uh, add to that? Well, nobody starts off knowing how to do anything. And networking, socializing with other people, communicating. Someone was asking me earlier, how do you learn how to communicate? People say it's a learnable skill. Well, the same way you learn how to cook in the kitchen is you use recipes and formulas that have been proven. And in networking, there are formulas that work for successful networking. And if you don't know what they are, then you just walk around looking foolish at a networking event. You'll say dumb things that will cause people to avoid you from then on. Whereas networking, as Ivan Meisner has proven, as Bob Burke has proven, and some of the great experts will talk, tell you that there are ways that you can form really good quality relationships with people when you meet them and then maintain those relationships for the long term. There's a, there's a very simple equation is that your success in life is going to be a direct proportion to the number of people you know and the number of people who know you in a favorable way. And the more people who know you in a favorable way and think about you in a positive way, the more successful you're going to be almost in a form of osmosis. Mm, very powerful. So, so have you got any sort of uh, examples of, of where you've actually seen this in effect? You, you, for example, you've seen somebody networking really inappropriately. Well, the, the worst form of networking is going around handing out your business cards and saying, call me if you need what I sell. The very best form of networking is to uh, ask people what they do and ask them, what would I need to know to be able to send you a customer for your business? And then as soon as possible, see if you can't send them a customer. One of the very best ways to build a great relationship with people in business is to send them someone who buys their product or service. And after that, the relationship will be cemented forever. I love that. Brian, thank you so much for your time and great to see you in Dubai again. Thank you. Thank you. Over some great tips there, and we'll see you soon. Rebel Networker.